Thailand, right. what should they think of if they decide to step in here? Right. If most of the Western world is consumer oriented, everything is consumption, and you are almost, almost the Jones's attitude, you most are forced to consume. So your living style in, in Western countries is very costly, very high. I was amazed to be in Utah and saw that the, the most in, fastest growing industry were these rent, rent units where you rent a, a, a space to put all your belongings that you bought and you don't have room in your house for and pretty soon you're renting two and three spaces because people consume too much. That frightens them thinking they have to move with that same sort of attitude of consumption and a $200,000 house and a $30,000 car and then I'm going to go to a country that I'm a little bit not sure about the security of it but it seems okay and then how can I live there with my with my lifestyle and you do see you coming here and wanting to build the same sort of lifestyle they bring with them on their backs when they get off the plane they want to plant that tree here and try to live the same way when in fact the money that they now have will stretch much farther here than it ever would in their own country. If you try to retire on 2000, average income now for Social Security is around 1005 or 1008, you know. You try to retire that in America, it's impossible. I mean, you can't do it. Even with your 401ks and all these things, if you continue that lifestyle, you can't do it. You have to switch and lifestyles. Mm. I'm coming here and I think quality of life. I don't have to build a, a $100,000 house. Mm -hmm. I can build a house. I can build a house for $15,000. My friends now are building a house in Karat. I think it's cost them $20,000 to build a house. Of course he has a Thai wife, but you know, mm -hmm. and he's building a house that is suitable for her standard, not really for his standard, because she doesn't want to waste the money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously the best way is not, you don't know everything. When you get off the plane, be brain dead. You know nothing. Mm. Don't bring your baggage with you when you come. You're in a learning curve. Mm. Try to observe for a while. Yeah. My friends came from America. They all retired from uh, working for civil service and the military, but were private uh, contractors. When they got off the plane, they just rented apartments for two years, and looked around and looked around and moved around a little bit and finally settled down to what they figured out was what they could afford on their, on their retirement, what their wives would point them in the direction. And they kept their minds open. I'm sorry to say many foreigners come here and close their mind and think they know everything and the locals are stupid and they know better. Mm. Same with NGO work. Mm. You go to African countries, the NGO people think Africans don't know anything and we have to do everything for them, mm. which is the wrong attitude. That's their territory, their culture, their experience. Tap into it. Mm. You know, don't, don't settle in a place where there are so many foreigners that the people now understand that you're a little naive and take advantage of. Mm -hmm. Try to go and understand Thailand. Mm. Look at Thai people. Look at places that are new to you mm. and try to find out about the people. Cool.